hi guys welcome to my youtube channel guys i'm having a good news for you today and yeah i've been super excited since friday yes so um i'm so happy to inform you guys that i just got two different offers to work for the government of canada guys that it has been my dream and this is definitely a dream come true i can't believe this is happening to me like i can't believe it ever since i got the good news i've been unable to sleep yeah it's uh like three almost four uh yeah it's almost four a.m here and i've been unable to sleep because of this good news yeah it has been my um yeah i've always been looking forward to working or getting a government job sincerely you can never go wrong with working with government uh aside the fact that uh, there's job security uh, there's job security actually then the benefits their benefit is, is massive the employment benefit is massive and aside the benefits guys government jobs are the highest paying like they are the highest planes an employer you can ever work for. Government jobs, you can never go wrong with, with government jobs, guys. I'm super excited and I count myself to be extremely lucky. And sincerely, it is not uh, by my power or I can't, like, I'm just, um, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Ever since Friday, I've been extremely happy that just me alone getting two offers at the same time and i don't really know which one to pick and yes i just want to uh encourage you guys out there um a couple of years ago i never believe i'm gonna be here today yeah i never believe i'm gonna be here today everything just happened so fast uh from getting um a fully funded scholarship or a fully funded program to do my master's degree abroad and um, through the two years my tuition fee my living expenses was fully paid to so becoming a, a Canadian permanent residence yeah I don't know if I've told you guys that yeah I am a uh, permanent residence here in Canada then now getting two different offers to work for the government of Canada has been uh, a dream come true I've been dreaming about that and yeah finally i got it guys just uh please rejoice with me and i'm just happy i'm uh, I'm, I'm, I'm super happy and i can i'm i'm actually looking forward to uh starting this new job i'm super excited and mind you guys it's not really easy like it is not easy to get a job a government job it is the toughest stages you can uh, ever go through it is not actually easy to get a government jobs I know what I I actually went through we went through a series of exam yeah we wrote exams like an assessment and we did a comprehensive interview I had my interview last week Friday so I wasn't even expecting them to get uh, reach out to me this soon yeah so the interview actually went well and uh i'm just happy guys i'm right now i'm just i can, i just count myself as super lucky like extremely lucky when i was even applying for that job i did not really put my i did not really put in too much effort because i was like it is a government job it is not easy like they will be looking for um they were looking for someone with extremely high profile, like extremely high profile in terms of, uh, in terms of experience. So I counted myself as someone who is having, who was having less experience. That who we hired me, like that was what I, I told my spouse. He saw the job posting, he sent it to me. So when he sent it to me, I was like, uh, because when I got the job offer, he had to refer back to that chat. So when he sent the job to me to apply, I was like, who we hire me? And considering my background again, that I'm having a, a background in civil engineering. Like who we hire a civil engineer to, for that kind of role? It was like, just give it a try. And yeah, I gave it a shot and uh, I did not regret it. I did not regret it. Although I have my uh, current job, I currently work with a private 
um, firm, a consulting firm. But now I'm quitting my job to work for Government of Canada. Yes, guys, so I'm now a Government of Canada official and I'm super excited to join the team and I'm going to be joined very, very soon. Yeah, so with that being said, let's dive uh, straight to today's topic. So I'm going to be talking about uh, immigration, yeah, expression to, I'm going to be talking about expression to actually. Uh, yeah, so basically I noticed lately that there are so many people out there that they have they already have their master's degree there are so many people that reached out to me that i have a master's degree and i'm thinking of going for phd how do i get a phd opportunity in canada and i always tell them this i always ask them this question why are you considering phd why not try canada express entry and most of them don't really have this information why 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 when you know you are already qualified why are you considering uh, a PhD? And uh, some of them will, will tell me that um, actually I'm 33, I'm 33 years old now. Then I used to hear about, they would tell me I used to hear about Canada Expression Theory, but they don't really have no eyes work. And let me tell you this, guys, information is very, very powerful. And you can't survive in Canada if you don't, if you can't source for information yourself you can't survive without information so basically i would want to say this if you're out there if you are less than uh let me say from 18 if you are within the within the age of 18 to 30 years old and you have at least three years of work experience and uh you also have um a good ietes score at least like a band eight or or band nine yeah, and you have a master's degree as well. Please, guys, consider applying for uh, Canada Express Entry under the Federal Skill, skill uh, Workers. Please consider that as soon as possible because Canada law is constantly changing every year. There, uh, there was this girl that reached out to me a couple of weeks ago. She, she was interested. Uh, she's actually interested in, in my course. Yes, guys, I did not tell you that I'm, I'm recently working on a course to, yeah, and I'll be talking about that course in my next video. So she, she reached out to me to make inquiries about my course, and uh, she wanted to, she's willing to go for PhD. So when I asked the lady, why are you considering PhD? You already have a master's degree. How old are you? She told me, I think she told me she's just, um, I think 25 or 26, I can't remember the exact age. She said 25, 26. I asked her how many years of experience you're having. She said four years. I was like, then why? When I helped, I calculated her points and she was even having, she's even having 472, which is more than enough to qualify her for experience entry. So I just advised her, all you need to do is now uh, focus on getting your ISES, uh results once that is ready just go into the pool as soon as possible you are more than qualified to do so so please guys a lot of people they've actually lost this opportunity because of lack of information they've lost this opportunity and one thing about canada is presentry is that once you are above 30 years of age you start losing five marks once you are 30 you lose five marks. once you're 31 you lose another five marks uh what was your 32 like above you start losing five marks so when you know you are still within this age bracket please make use of it and um, some people would say that it's not everyone that travel out that are succeeding my dear this is what i would just like to tell you is that there is no crime in, in being a dual citizen there is no crime in having a canadian a permanent resident uh, card even if you don't wish to reside here in canada if you don't wish to stay here there is no crime in having your pr card that means you can come in at any time you want yeah you can come it, the decision is yours but i always tell people this thing you don't just make that decision or you don't decide to relocate to Canada or to relocate to any other country of your choice just because of your own, like, your own interest. You just have to think about 
your unborn children or your children if you currently have children you have to think about giving them the kind of life you never had yeah that's what i do to our people now my own my own prayer right from time is to give my children the kind of life i have never had and that's just the best gift you can do for your unborn children or you can do for your uh, children. So guys, please take this opportunity. Any moment from now, immigration, in fact, is already changing. Because as, as last year, even when I applied for my permanent residence, then the point was as low as 440 and I had 444. My po uh, point was 444 when we applied and yeah, it was it is more than qualified then. That was then. But now the point is as high as 470. So if you don't have 470 and above, you automatically you can't be qualified. So for those that are within uh, are more than 30 years and above and for those that are watching me right now and you feel you are not qualified for express entry, in my uh, subsequent videos, I'm still going to be talking about other routes that you can uh, follow to come to Canada. There are various routes out there that uh, you can use to come to Canada. So uh, please guys, if you are just watching me for the first time, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so that you're not going to miss out on my upcoming videos. Yeah, guys, so back to my celebration, guys. I'm super excited. I'm super, super excited for this great news. And yeah, I'm super, super excited. And I thank God for everything he has been doing for me. It is not by my power. I never believe I'm going to be here today. I never believe, yeah, yeah I guess, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm just super, I'm super excited. You know, that feelings, that feelings for you working for the government of Canada. Like, I can't believe it will me is going to start working for the government of Canada now. Yeah, I can't just wait. So, guys, if I can do it, you can also do it. Please don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on your dreams. You can achieve it. I never believe I, I will be able to do it. Yeah, but God made it possible for me. If I can't do it, you can also do it. So, guys, please don't uh, give up. Yeah, so, yeah, that's basically what I have for tonight. That's basically what I have for tonight. And I'm still going to be updating you guys on any other changes that comes up along the way. I'm still gonna be updating you, yeah. So, basically, guys, thank you for watching me, and I'll uh, see you in my next video.